Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Mariah Steiger, and I'm a Director of Global Research for Wellness and Resilience in the content moderation industry. In this research article, we surveyed the psychological risks that content moderators face in the course of their profession and describe a range of strategies for reducing the emotional labor involved in this work. Content moderators play a vital role in the functioning of social media platforms today by safeguarding users from exposure to inappropriate content. While one could ideally rely on machine learning to automatically detect and filter out inappropriate content, human interpretation is often required due to high accuracy requirements and cost of errors and the subjective nature of the task and complex ever-changing moderation policies and forms of offending content. Prior literature has estimated that over 100,000 paid human moderators are staffed globally, spanning internal reviewers, contractors from third parties, and outsourcing to online labor. Former research has revealed that prolonged exposure to some forms of offending content may impair moderators' psychological functioning, which can be further exacerbated by metric demands. Potential adverse health effects can include alterations to beliefs or worldview, interpersonal conflict, and stress-related disorders, just to list a few. And given the necessity of human workers in performing this task, we adopt a social justice perspective to motivate the need to support such operations. Therefore, we make three primary contributions in this publication. To begin, we discuss moderator psychological symptomology, drawing on the occupations involving secondary trauma exposure to further guide understanding of both symptoms and support mechanisms. Subsequently, we review a combination of both programmatic and technological support for confronting these challenges, adopting the lens of the preventative care model and discussing treatment options, and examining ways to measure the effectiveness of such applications. Our final contribution includes recommendation of best practices, as well as directions for future research. By applying the model, we begin with discussing primary interventions, which apply strategies that limit symptom onset or prepare an individual to manage potential adverse situations. For example, while the first line of defense includes technological filters to limit human exposure, we noted that how challenging this detection is to automate with sufficient accuracy. Therefore, programmatic interventions are a necessary form of additional support to prepare moderators by use of pre-employment risk disclosure and resilience training prior to any and immediately following exposure to content. Second level interventions are essential as moderators will inevitably encounter triggering content. The fundamental purpose of secondary care is to reduce symptom severity following onset, thereby returning to a state of stability. Technological approaches such as alterations to image size and blurring or muting videos represent secondary support. And in terms of programmatic aid, ongoing resiliency skill-based training for workers is recommended. And finally, tertiary interventions provide treatment for following the manifestation of a psychological disorder, which requires an evaluation by a licensed professional. Those meeting severe criteria should be referred to community resources as they fall outside the workplace setting scope of practice. If appropriate, tertiary technological interventions such as virtual reality can be beneficial. They've been studied to treat stress-related disorders by increasing mindfulness and producing lower levels of anxiety, sadness, and anger. Across technological and programmatic services, we propose a variety of directions for future work with the potential to better protect content moderators as they safeguard social media platforms. Our authorship in this work spans academia and industry, bridging expertise in technology, social science, and clinical mental health. We come together and form an alignment to support the well being of content moderators. We advocate for continued growth of academic industry partnerships engaging with these issues, advancing both scholarship and practice. We thank you for your attention and encourage you to reach out to us with any questions. <laughs>